Hello and welcome to the VC Mission and Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. Now, in this episode of the How to Make Money blogging series, I'm going to show you how to export your WordPress data and import it into a new blog. Absolutely essential. Now, for those of you who just purchased a Bluehost blog, I've already showed you how to install your new WordPress on it, and I also showed you that you have your own domain and everything now. So you have access to log into your new blog. I'm assuming that for this video. If you don't, then you'll want to contact Bluehost and make sure that you can log into your new blog properly. Now, for the sake of demo purposes, I actually installed a second blog on my local host because I don't have two Bluehost blogs that I can play around with here. So, my online blog is going to be your online blog. In other words, www.whatever.com. So everything I do on that, you're going to do on your online one. And everything you do on your first blog is going to be what you do in your offline blog, which has all your posts and everything up to this point. So, first thing we want to do is we want to go to localhost slash my space first space blog slash wp dash admin like we have before a million times over this will bring us to the administrator control panel on the bottom left hand corner we're interested in the tools option and we want to select exports so that we can export all of our data out of our blog and this will export our post pages comments fields categories and tags uh, most the important information from the blog it will not export your plugins or your um, custom theme options or your theme those you're gonna have to reinstall and adjust manually so now that you've done it one time, you should be comfortable doing it again. So scroll down to the download export file. Go ahead and select that. Now I'm going to save over my old one. I'm going to save it right to my desktop. I'm going to click yes to save it. And now, as you can imagine, the next part's extremely difficult. I'm being sarcastic. Open up a new tab. Now you're going to go to your domain or wherever your web host is now. I'm going to go to my online blog that I just created. And press enter. Now I haven't installed this yet, so let me create it. And let me go through these setup really fast. You're not going to have to do this. I just forgot to do it before I started this video. So let me go ahead and get that up and running. Running the install. And my online blog is going to be the title. I usually recommend you maintain the, uh, <laughs> the same username and password offline as you do online. Let me go ahead and install WordPress here. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now this will be you logging into your online one, okay? Now after you log into your online one, which is actually actually probably just a basic WordPress site, you're going to go to the tool section again, and this time you're going to select import. And I'm going to import from WordPress, since that's what I exported on. Now this actually requires me to install an importer, so I'm going to click install now. Downloading, installing, installing, and successfully installed the plugin, WordPress importer. Now I'm going to activate plugin and run the importer. See how WordPress kind of walks you through a lot of this? Now I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to scroll to the file that I exported. And then I'm going to go ahead and select upload file and import. Now it asks me uh, create to, to create a new user if I want to create a new user for all these, but obviously I want to associate all of my authoring offline to my new user map existing admin. And then we don't want to download an import file attachments. Just click submit. And it's all done. So now if I go back to my online blog, we have all of it actually imported. So all of our blogs are actually here. Now, some things to take into account. You may need to re-import your pictures. You may need to re you obviously need to reinstall your theme and plugins, but all of your core content is there, and that's the most important thing. All your blog posts and things like that. Now, this is for those of you who didn't just by default go straight to an online site. This is for those of you who wrote a lot of, a lot of content offline. If you didn't write a lot of content offline, you don't really have to worry about this whole step. You can just go right to your online blog and start installing your plugins and themes, and then just go from there. Now that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe.